Hey guys, how's it going? Finally, an aquarium update. Sort. It's been so long. Um, I've been really busy. Uh, not much time uh, to do anything else except for work, sleep, maybe study a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to juggle everything. It's pretty busy. Um, so today is my day off. I should be studying. I will be in uh, the next hour or so, but. Uh, I gotta break down the uh, 30 gallon, and it's downstairs. It's my reef aquarium. Gotta break it down. Finally, I gotta clean it out, get all my equipment clean, and um, there's gonna be a surprise on Friday of this week. Uh, kind of like a no-name video as I progress to my destination. Um, it should be fun, so make sure to uh, tune in and watch that if you can. Now, I went to the uh, store and I grabbed a tank. This is a 20 gallon tank, but it's a 20 gallon long, so it's the height of a 10 gallon tank, but the length of a 20. Um, I really like it. I've really always um, liked uh, this shape of a tank. Um, and I like the footprint. There's lots of uh, foreground, middle ground, and background. Uh, you know, space to work with when you're aquascaping. So, I bought this one new, thinking about in the future, because um, I want to make a planted tank. And um, also, I keep forgetting to mention it in my other videos, but I really appreciate the new subscribers. Hopefully, um, you can uh, follow along or even just watch my previous videos, catch up on all the things I've uh, done and, and learnt and all that uh, and connect with some of my friends that I've met online because the community, I'd like to call it a community, the YouTube aquarium community is is, uh, is awesome if you have any problems you can ask and most of the time you won't be uh, ridiculed uh, yeah so keep that in mind if you're signed up to a forum, you can also use YouTube as a as a kind of a, a visual aid and and whatnot. So thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, will uh, update this tank once it's set up. Okay, so very important. I tore the uh, cardboard off, and I took the receipts out and the instructions and all the stickers and the tape all that stuff and then you can see it's wet I washed it that's very important when you buy a new tank from a store even if it's in the box even if it has a lid on it you gotta make sure you wash everything because uh, you can have little bits of styrofoam stuck in the the caulking or you know uh, little pieces of steel cardboard dust uh, I work in a warehouse, so I know how dusty things can get, and uh, you know these things are loaded onto a truck. That that tractor trailer may take uh, many different things on in a day. You know, it gets aquariums one day, the next day it's it's got uh, some sort of chemicals in it uh, that it's transporting. A lot of different trucks have different uses, and it's not just uh, not just aquariums. So you gotta make sure that you wash it out. I use, uh, I slowly bring up the temperature of the water so I don't crack the glass. But uh, the glass is pretty strong. Um, so yeah, uh, another little thing that I forgot to mention was when you buy a new tank from the store, you always want to check it for for cracks uh, or scratches. Uh, now the store should do that for you, but uh, sometimes they don't. Um, sometimes they, when you get it from, like I got this. Uh, just the tank so it was one of those kind of like discount tanks thrown in the quarter uh, it doesn't come with a, a filter or, or a, a light or anything like that so you, you don't have to pay the extra fees you can just buy the tank for cheap uh, so that's what I did because I've got uh, filters laying around and whatnot um, so yeah you they don't really uh, check for leaks in those ones because you should be able to do it yourself so make sure that you do that sorry check for cracks then you want to check for leaks when you get home uh, checking for leaks, you fill it with water in the bathtub or outside with the hose and you let it go for a half hour to see if it leaks at all. Um, 
And if it doesn't, then awesome, you're ready to go. So as you can see, like I said, washed it. It's uh, on a dresser. Um, this is going to be temporary. The blinds are going to be closed, and uh, I've got my RODI water right there ready to go in. Won't fill it. It'll bring it up about a quarter. I got another one downstairs, and then uh, I got to go get some more.